In this video, you will see how to make a curved arrow in PowerPoint. As you can see, I have curved the arrows in different direction and I have also controlled the curve of the arrow. It's very easy. There are two methods. Let's get started. In the first method, go to the insert tab. Under the insert tab, click on the shapes. And here you will see the arc option. We can make use of this line arc to make a circular arrow. Press and hold shift button on your keyboard and then draw a arc. By default this arc is a thin blue line. So we will go to the format shapes option. Under the line, we will select the color of the line. For example, black color and this is the width. This is the thickness, so let's say 5 points. And now we can add a arrow head. So if I want an arrow head here, then I need to click on the begin arrow type. Under this drop down, you can select the type of arrow head. Personally, I like this one, open arrow. And as you can see, we have added an arrow head now. If you want arrow head here, you can also end arrow type and select the arrow head and if you want to remove just select the option line to format this arrow what you can do is click on the yellow box and then drag it using your mouse so you can control the curvature like this and you can also stretch the arrow downward like this if you want to decrease the curvature you can resize it like this as per your need if you want to rotate the arrow, you can rotate the arrow as well using the rotation option. Now, if you don't want to do all these things, there is a direct method to insert these arrows. You need to go to the insert tab. And in this second method, you have to click on the icons option. And in the icon search box, just type arrow. And you will see different types of arrows here. Just click on the circular arrow you want and then click on insert and this arrow will be inserted. So you just can select multiple arrows as well like this and click on insert. Then you can drag them anywhere inside the document. The best part is that you can also resize these circular arrows and rotate them as per your requirement. Click on that like button, comment below and let me know if this video solved for your problem. And don't forget to check out these useful videos shown on screen related to PowerPoint.